friends, and welcome to Story Stretchers at the Hands-On House. I'm Mrs. Will, and I'm glad you're here today. Every week, I look in my Story Stretcher basket to see if it will give us a clue as to what our story is about. So let me take a look inside my basket. Oh, I see some snowflakes. And I see some skis and some ski poles. Hmm, can you help me guess what my story is about today? Well, when I see snowflakes, it reminds me of snow that happens in the winter. And when I see skis and, a, and some ski poles, it reminds me of a sport that I can do in the winter called skiing where you can ski down the slope on some long, thin boards that will take you to the bottom. Our story today is called Bunny Slopes. What's a slope? A slope is like a hill. Bunny Slopes, written by Claudia Ruda. She's the author, the person who wrote the words. It's also illustrated by Claudia Ruda. She drew the pictures. Bunny slopes. Now in our story today, Bunny has a problem. He wants to go skiing, but he has no snow. And he also has no slopes to ski down. So you can help me. Can you help me by moving your body, just like I'm moving the book, to help Bunny ski? Thanks. Hello. Can you wave hello? Oh, it's you. Want to join me for a ski day? But where's all the snow? Maybe we can make some. Could you please shake? I'll shake the book. You shake your bodies. Ready? Shake, 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 shake. That's better. I see some snow. But could you shake much harder? Shake, 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 shake. Oh, that might have been a little bit too much. Can you tap, tap, tap now? That should pack down the snow. You can take your finger and tap, tap, tap. Perfect. Thank you. Now, maybe you can help me go downhill. Could you tilt your body to the right? That's not exactly downhill. Maybe you could tilt your body a little bit more. Carrots, what fun. Thank you. Oh, yikes! Now Bunny's at the edge of a cliff. What will he do? Quick, turn the book. And you can turn your bodies upside down. Oh, oh, okay. Would you turn the book right side up now? stuck in a tree. Thanks, but really, I'm fine. Let's try that cliff again. Would you tilt to your right? I'll need some speed. Tilt your body to the right. Perfect. Get ready to jump. Can you jump? Zowie, as easy as carrot cake. Look at Bunny go. A hole? No problem. 
Now, can you jump with your legs spread apart? Ha! Huh, I told you. Oh no, I see another hole. What will Bunny do? Ah! Oops! He fell down into the rabbit hole. to warm up after a long day on the slopes. This one is for you. So friends, in our story today, Bunny needed a steep slope to ski down. I have an experiment that we can do together today. I brought two slopes with me. One is a low slope and one is a high slope. You can help me predict which slope Bunny will get to the bottom to faster. If you think that Bunny will travel to the bottom of the hill faster on the low slope, put your finger on your nose. If you think that Bunny will travel to the bottom of the hill on the high slope faster, put your hand on your head. Ready? Wow, did you see how Bunny traveled to the bottom of the hill that was high faster? So if you predicted this one, you were right. You see, the higher the slope, the faster Bunny can travel. Friends, I have a STEM challenge for you to try at home. You could make two different slopes and predict which slope Bunny will travel down faster. You could use some things that you have around your house, like maybe a stack of books and a piece of cardboard, or maybe even something like this. I found some blocks. So I'm going to build with my blocks. I'll put three blocks on one side and make my ramp. And then I'll put two blocks on the other side and build my ramp. Now you can predict which slope your bunny will travel down faster. Find something around, around your house that is round like these pom-poms that will travel down your ramp. Are you ready? Did you see how the pom-pom or bunny traveled faster down the slope that was higher? Because remember, the higher the slope, the faster the speed. We would love to have you try this at home with some things that you have around your house. If you would like to take a picture of what you created and share it on Facebook or Instagram and tag us, we'd really like to see what you came up with. Bye friends, see you next time.